Yeah. Up next, we've got <sighs> Poetry Town. So wet. Intrinsic devouring irises that say you can melt my panties. Jezebel temptress looking for a nightcap. I gave her a nice slap and called her mommy. She broke down in tears. How could I be so insensitive? She was a four leather mulatto with hazel green eyes, crooked teeth, and a Cherokee smile. She went to college for free. She shared with me her tale of laws with no orders and wolves with malignant dicks. See, her biological father raped and beat her. He cracked the pelvis and left a jelly plate in her temple. A fractured psyche and a fragility labored with confusion. She went bonkers, got transferred to an asylum up in Yonkers. She just kept yelling, Wolf gang, kill them all! This straight jacket clashes with my eyes. And then she escaped. And she dedicated her entire life to filling in that void with love after love. I mean, this woman tweaked and shook with the thought of a lover's look, a hand holding her as if she could break. Alabama shakes when she gets the shivers, I quiver. Because suitor after suitor, she became a shooter to the cardiovascular. She didn't just want the tissues for evidence, she wanted all of you. Uh, so I told her, girl, I will give you everything. But I forgot that I was sick of love songs, so I just gave her the run around. Mother and father popped the Cadillac. Hey y'all, I'm on the scene. Hip hop and rock was the drive as I gained confidence and pride in my writing because it's striking up a passion. I fashioned a tail around an end because I'm playing the point. And the process is drowned in swooned moon, revealing my solo dolo tendencies that I mask in a thousand faces. My heart beats at a pace hard as mercy. I have no Lamborghini, but bitches are still thirsty. I wish. <laughs> <laughs> I went on and on and on. And all of a sudden, she shut me up with a kiss. She straddled my lips and started to rip off my skin. She felt so hot, I started to melt, and the rest peeled away like cheap paint. I started choking like LeBron versus Dallas Final Four. <laughs> Finally sure this was it, the end. <sighs> and afterwards, she said, do you feel this? I mean, do, do, do you feel this? I said, yeah. <laughs> I feel something. That's new. Then she noticed I was acting strange, so I called that bitch first for Cassidy. She got mad at me because she forgot. She thought I forgot her name, but I did. And that's when she realized that she couldn't have it all. She understood that I would fight so hard to hold on to what I feel is Honorable desolation, desiccation in relations to hearts outside of my own chest as I scurry on my pursuit of happiness. I gotta do it alone, man. So Mother Moon tells me that people need my help, but shit, I can't help myself. So, as I'm leaving, she asked me, like, what, 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 what do you want? Like, 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 what do you even want? Just give 
give me a bad bitch that can play the spoons and let us watch the world burn. Ignorance is bliss. Mm. I bit you and you crunched like gravel in a rain pipe on a swirl road. I saw you through the radiating screen, it flickered, all jagged edges, ragged shades of blue, bragging blades of you, steel mesh mixed with your skin, unveiling, veiling again, wind-snapped eyes, flaring, gold-pinched and warm like coins. I bit you and the earth reversed, I swallowed it like a golf ball and spit chunks of the universe from cursed lips. The stars sprayed out from between crooked teeth, blended up with heaven, taste linking us in glitter-cut glitter chain. I bit you, and leathery limbs stitched up with dreams dragged the ground like gloves on cold dirt. I am sewn up inside of you, a bag of broken limbs and twigs twisted up. Gander at the sky, gander at it, painted technicolor purple rose. I don't care, and you don't care, and the sun cuts across it a scalding vein, throbbing in my forehead, pulsing against yours, nose to nose, two poles spiriting each other in concentric circles detailing sagging eyelids. My fingertips are raw. My wrist aches. I cannot move my elbows. There is a bruise on your left thigh shaped like a thumbprint, all colored in. Voyeur. To the girl in the box, I swear I've seen you walk through walls. I saw you break conviction like there was nothing there, and I just wanted to say that you are the most beautiful thing that I have ever seen twixt four corners. <laughs> and to thank you for taking the time to have an exchange with the guy tapping on your glass. <coughs> Look, I know we've only just made eye contact, but I had a question. What's stopping you from leaving this box forever? I mean, I know I saw you like walk right off the side like you were catching an updraft in mid-stride, so like, <laughs> what's keeping you here? <laughs> it, is it me? <laughs> is it me? I knew that I felt something in the melody of your steps akin to the key of life. Isn't she lovely the way that she touches your hair when you look right through me, but also somewhat soft the way the corner of the right side of your lips curls like a kitten and you turn away. I felt like maybe you were seeing me as clearly as I saw you break the laws of physics like bad cop on SVU. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I promise I have no criminal intent. I just would really like to know your name and whether or not you like anime. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe I'm mistaken again and you weren't really seeing me but rather the tender decibels of my fingers reaching out to maybe touch a shoulder or ask if maybe you have the time. <laughs> I, I've lost track of mine because it, it feels like I've been waiting forever for someone to welcome me back to humanity. I've been moonlighting on Mars, slowly losing my sanity watching the universe pass me by, but perhaps I found a reason to land again. Okay, I, I don't want to scare you away or anything, but I had a talk with God, and he told me that I have to wait just a little bit longer for my peace of mind, and you broke in like 45 minutes later, and it has to be, it just has to be a sign that it's okay to believe in faith again, that lending myself to the phenomena that is my idea of you means that it is safe again, to let my heart make a decision that is free of the others that left me trying to love things that didn't know the meaning of the word, and me without a dictionary. 
This silence is so loud, it's leaving contusions. But your appearance has become an infusion to my vocabulary. But I, but I don't want to give you that same stale or rehearsed spiel or spill of that boy with a thousand faces trying to figure out the one that make you love me like I'm a man. I want to give you scripture. I want to give you a sword for protection and chicken soup for the feeding. I don't want to stand you, but I feel like you can stop my bleeding. I want to show you that I'm brave enough to heal. But I can't embrace you without telling the truth that I'm the one trapped inside of this box watching you. And I want to give you more than these in four corners. I want to give you the world. <laughs> but I can't, I can't imagine anyone believing I'm strong enough. And I can't imagine anyone believing that I'm beautiful and I don't know if I want to let you because you so much more than beauty. You, you, you are the smell of atmospheric pressure dropping before the rain. You are the hope that I can be redeemed and that terrifies me more than staring back at the reflections the mornings after almost not making it through the nights. And I feel like this is right, but maybe I'm wrong. And I go on being let down by circumstance. Or maybe I get to hold your hand and we watch 500 days of summer fly by before our eyes. And they can build a statue of us with two heads, one body, four eyes, and four legs like Zeus intended it to be. My breath was the lightning and you are the thief. My imagination was the prisoner and you are my release. And all I've wanted since I laid eyes on you was to learn how to walk through walls too. Well, I can get out of this box and say hello. It's a work in progress. There's like three more parts of this in the first week, so uh, I want to lie down on a dirty rug and have brown sneakers rub my cheeks. Drape shoelaces. Oh. 